I'm doing one last year of the rabbit inspired cocktail. You're probably thinking, wait, it's a new year. You can't be doing that. You are right and wrong. Let's go. Welcome back to Old Fashioned Ways. And yep, I will be doing one more year of the rabbit inspired cocktail. So you were right, we are in the new year. But Iceman Can't Cook was kind enough to remind me that the Chinese New Year has not yet happened. Chinese New Year's Eve is February 9th. So just enough time to sneak in another drink. Now, I had a lot of plans to do many rabbit inspired cocktail drinks last year, especially because it was my year. But the year passed so quickly with so many new and fun, exciting things happening, I just didn't have enough time. So when Iceman reminded me I still had a little bit of time, I was super excited. Super, super excited. Dead Rabbit. That's right. That's the name. I thought it would be a good and perfect name as we end the year of the rabbit, the dying of the rabbit to start the year of the dragon and the birth of the dragon. During my research, there were many different recipes called dead rabbit, but all were completely different. So I used a few for inspiration, but decided to make my own on this. If you like these videos, please hit that like button. Also make sure to click on the subscribe button. And if you haven't hit that notification bell. So I am almost out of time to make this old fashioned. So sorry, no cocktail quiz time. I'm going to jump right into this drink. Dead rabbit old fashioned ingredients. Now we're going to start off with one and a half ounces of dead rabbit Irish whiskey, half an ounce of Benedictine, quarter ounce of Contru, one sugar cube, three dashes orange bitters, and we're going to mist with absinthe. Of course, don't forget that orange peel. All right, let's start making the dead rabbit old fashioned. So in the mixing glass, we're going to be adding the one sugar cube. Now, as close as we can, because it's a big it's way down there, we're going to add two dashes of orange bitters. Try not to break the glass while you're doing that, huh? Next, we're going to muddle it. And we're going to add a half ounce of the Benedictine. Next, we're going to add a quarter ounce of control just to add a little bit of flavor. Now we're going to add the one and a half ounces of the dead rabbit Irish whiskey. This is my first time trying this one. Now we're going to add some ice and we're going to stir. A little trouble there with those ice that stuck together. It's kind of weird to, to try to actually stir that. In this beautiful glass given to me by my in-laws, we're going to get a sprayer with the absinthe in it. And we're going to spray it a few times just to coat it. Say it, don't spray it. It's the first time I use my mister. It's kind of fun. Adds a lot of uh, aromatics into the air for sure. Now, we're going to pour this. Oops. Before I forget, we need that ice. Death Star looking ice for the Death Star glass. And we're going to pour this in there. Now we're going to express the oils from an orange peel over the drink. And I got this cute little one with little rabbit ears to garnish with. And there you have it. The dead rabbit old fashioned. All right, let's sip and enjoy this bad boy. Now, a lot of times when I make these things, I do have some thoughts and I, I try them or you know try different techniques with it before. I didn't have time with that with this one. This one I kind of just made up from a few different recipes and I thought, hey, this sounds good to me. So let's see, let's see how it went. May the force be with you. You smell a lot of the uh, absence up front with a little bit of orange hint in there as well. I like it. Like the Sazerac has a little bit of absence in it. It does add a different level of evolution through a drink. And you get that in this. You get the nice whiskey, a nice sweetness really quickly followed by a little bit of bitters, but you get that absence, which is, you know, kind of that dark licorice taste right in the back, but just a hint of it, just enough so that it doesn't overpower the drink, but enough that you're tasting it as well. I'm going for a second drink. I actually think my wife will like this one. Oh yeah. Okay. What a way to end the year of the rabbit. This is a good balanced drink. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. This is something I'm going to try to make again and maybe play with it a little bit and see what I can do to make it to the next level because this is really good. So here is to the end of the year of the rabbit, which I was born many, many moons ago. That's not a moon. It was a fun, fast, exciting year for sure, but it went by way too fast. So with the end of this year comes the year of the dragon. I plan to do at least one year of the dragon cocktail. Not sure what it is yet. So if you have any ideas for me, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for another amazing year and joining me on this journey to the end of one year and on to the next Chinese new year. Cheers, my friends.